I'm down in my workshop again, down in my, my workbench. We're gonna want to show you on how I do rosettes, how I cut rosettes. Um, so this is most of you're cutting the actual channel today, and then or in this video, and then I will do another one showing how I cut the wood ring. I do two things. I do one, I do a, a bound sound hole, so I bind the inside of the hole um, with ebony and then put a perfling around that. And then I do a wood ring and sometimes abalone, sometimes not. And so we're gonna want to show you some of that. Um, and so right now I'm gonna show you how I actually cut the channels for those to sit into. Okay, so we're gonna move this so you can see a little better. And also, sorry for the noise, this is going to get a little bit loud. I am using a, a small trim router to do this. And so it does, you know, a little bit loud, but also safety, you know, and wearing safety glasses are using hearing protection, all that good stuff, because I like my hearing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, on this you can see I've got the outline. So this is my top, this is a Engelman spruce. I have the basic sound hole rows. This will actually be larger than this when I'm done, but this is kind of just give me in, in the area, get my center, I drill a, a hole to put a pin, onto a, a board that you, that's behind this. And this is what centers everything so I can cut circles. And they end up perfect every time. Okay, and I use a little, a little trim router, a little Bosch. I made a, a template, or a jig, I guess, that fits a base that has reference holes so I can get it right every single time. Uh, this takes a while to set up and get it correct, but once you do, it's it's great. And you can do the same thing over and over again. You do them to you get more production stuff. Anyway, so here we go. So the one I'm doing now, the first route I'm gonna do is the one around where I'm gonna do the, the binding of the sound hole. So you actually see the actual, the inside of that be the actual sound hole. Okay, I'm gonna put my hearing protection on. Here we go. Put it on the pin I want. That's the first one. You can kind of see the see the slot that I just routed. This will be the, the binding on the inside of the sound hole. And this way I can set it into that circle, glue it into place, and then just cut out the ring in the middle. Works really well that way. Now what I also have to do, this is set a little deeper so it goes through the full thickness of the top. The what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop this down, readjust it so that I'm only going about halfway through the plate. And that way the rosette doesn't come all the way through the, the main ring around the outside. And the other thing you saw where I went one direction and then flipped it around, that does two things. One, it takes and, and cleans the channel of all the, the wood chips and stuff that are in there. The second thing it makes sure is that if there's any little irregularity, it'll take it out. So let me just reset this real quick. Got a handy little ruler here. Set that back up to right there. That looks great. That'll be about half the plate thickness. So we don't need to go very deep. It's, this is the outer ring is a little bit for strength, but it's more honestly for for looks. Okay. Now on this one. 
come show you. I've got a little slot right here. So this is gonna cut my wide piece. I'll go around on the outside to an outside ring, come the inside to an inside, and then I'll go through and move it back and forth with that slot and take out everything in between. Okay. Put my hearing protection back on. Here we go. Up so you can see, we'll pull it off this pin gently. All right, now you can kind of see it. So, I've got the center ring here, which will be for the binding of the sound hole, and then this will be the actual rosette. And this one is getting um, there won't be any abalone in this one, so it'll just have a, a purfling a wood ring and another purfling on this, and then the ebony and purfling inside of this ring. And I'll, I'll show cutting that and and uh, gluing those in in lit videos. But I'll have to do, I've got to do that on another top over here and then I'm set to go start making rings. Thanks for watching. <laughs>